The following program contains scenes and language of a Frank and Doria nature. Listener discretion is advised. For me. There, oh, we, there go. we go. Da 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 dum, da da dum, dum dum, da 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 dum, da da dee da. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Let's play that for everybody. Thank you. Make it a little louder so people could hear it. How's he gonna do that with a dick in his mouth? No louder than that. Frank DeCaro show featuring Doria Biddle live from New York and yeah, Los that's Angeles good. on OutQ, Sirius 109 XM 98. That's all a crock of shit. Every bit of that is a crock of shit. Okay, it just is. Doria is at the diner munching a muffin. She doesn't care about anybody but herself right now. I'm here in New York City, Mr. Frank DeCaro. Greg has flown, he's winged his way out there. Crisco Disco is in his chair. And filling in as our special guest lesbian today. Like an application, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mr. Derek Hartley, the D in Derek and Romaine. Except tonight, when the D in DNR is actually Doria. But it's that's a whole other story. Derek Hartley. Frank DeCaro. You gave me the heart failure I give Greg and Doria every morning. <laughs> you walked in at 15 seconds before. And Crisco Disco looked at me and he said, who are the celebrity birthdays? What's the song? And I was like, oh, I forgot that. I just because I didn't do any show prep, like zero, Woo! Yay! zero. We don't need any show prep no, today, I didn't Frank. Think we did. It's us. How are it's you? It's just us. I'm f- fantastic. I did come in within a minute of the show starting, and it was not my fault. It was the early hour. No, there was <laughs> c- construction on the West Side Highway. I hate that. Yeah, it was hard, and it's raining here in New York City. Oh, it's a problem. Uh, so I, it took an extra fifteen minutes to get here, and then the security guard at the door uh, tried to stop me from getting in here. He goes, "I need to see your ID." I was like, "You have seen me a thousand times. <laughs> I have worked here for six years. Yes, but I have to visually identify your ID. Which, by the way, I will show it to you, Frank. <laughs> even though none of the listeners can see it." As you can see, my ID is completely blank. You cannot even see my name on it anymore. I've been here so long. But he had to look at the blank ID. I could have been fucking I think anybody. I should do. I should, or well, let's hope. So, but I. No, that's Doria this weekend. What hey, ladies? Am I right? Hey. Is this on? She doesn't care no, what muffin she eats. It's true. She, it's, I'm having. You want half of mine? By the no, way. I'm okay. Fine. I, no, you just I, when they say, "Let me see your ID," you just go whoomp. You just whip it out. You know, you just go. Boom, you just give unzip and show it, it, me, it to him. It no. did. It made me want to just drop my pants right there. <laughs> like here's my ID. Uh, ID this baby. Anyway, yeah. so I'm so glad you're filling in. I'm so excited you, and, to be here. Frank. Know why? No. Three hours to fill. That's why. Woo-hoo! Okay, I love it. No, because it dawned on me this morning. I thought, Jory's not sending show prep, is she, today? She's away. And then I thought, well, Greg will do it. Oh, no, Greg is away. Too. And then I thought, well, I'm not doing that. So no. I picked, I did what I usually do. I found about three stories I thought were fun. And I, and I was like, I sent them off to Jory's. Add these to the show prep. You know, but then there's right. nothing to add it to. So it's kind of, it's the bottom of the bowl is empty. So, but we're going to have fun. But you and I don't need that. We'll just No, chat. we don't. I mean, well, first of all, uh, obviously the most exciting thing is that, um, is that there's uh, gay marriage in Iowa? I know, but I mean, you know, but otherwise, like, no, but, who cares about anything else happening? And that's not, but that's not self-aggrandizing enough for our no, show. No, 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 We're no. About, are you, no, no, are you going to fly to Iowa and get married? No, I don't get married. I didn't I think so. I, no, Idaho, Iowa. It's Iowa. Way I stayed. Did I say Idaho? No, you said Iowa. Oh, you right. did. I just get them all confused. Other than Illinois, which I get confused because I that one I have a joke to a mnemonic to remember that one. The Illinois. Yeah, Illinois. Randolph Rincon. That's what I always say, which is terrible. I was in Iowa. <laughs> It's stupid and offensive. That's as bad and... as my supplies. Thank all you. right. So anyway, so yes. but let's do some self-aggrandizing. I'm all for it, Frank. All right. Congratulations on winning the GLAD Award. <gasps> I can't believe you brought it up, Frank, since it's here on the tip sheet. First of all, where? Oh, no, I'm just kidding. No, the tip just... Look, the tip know, sheet is right? down to it's two uh, uh, it's it's two paper clips <laughs> and no sheet. It's now. so sad. It's it's like Lucite with no sheet on it. It's terrible. I love that our clipboard is now just a sea of paper clips. Like every day, <laughs> somebody brings in a new paper clip, and now there's like hundreds of them on there. And that's it. But no note no. saying no, no. mention this would no. be good. But uh, yes, uh, last weekend. Uh, uh, our show, really serious XM, but our show won a Glad Award, and it's here somewhere at the office. Have you seen it? No. It's here somewhere. It's going to go into the trophy case. Fabulous. Up, upstairs next to the other, because Sirius, is one of, uh, Sirius XM won a bunch of design trophies for our satellite technology and radio, thing, whatever. I don't know. There's a bunch of awards in an award case. And when Romaine and I were leaving one day, she turns to me and she goes, what should we do with the award when the award comes in? I said, it's going right there in that award <laughs> case with the other awards here at the company. Oh, you're good. See, yeah. I didn't want to take it home. Well, Did you each get actually, one or just one? 
you know what? Um, our one of our bosses, Jeremy, uh, said that um, Sirius XM would pay for additional copies of the award, so we could each have our own copy. They should. That's perfect. And everyone here, which is very nice of him to do, and that was really lovely. So we'll all have we'll all have an award. That's good. You should, because you need to have one of those yourself at home, and you, you just and then you just kind of leave it around. But you, you know, but it needs to be there casually. Somewhere. Just kind of go. Oh, I think, and then. It, 20 years from now, you want to know, what the hell is it? Oh, it's a GLAAD award. You know, I mean, that's always the way it goes with an award. Unless it's an Oscar, I think. It's probably an Oscar. Because an Oscar, well, I wouldn't give Romaine an Oscar because of the shape of it. I wouldn't. Because I think she would strap it on. I really do. I think she would try to stick it in just <laughs> to try it. Just the head. All right, let's go to the phones. Wait a minute. Someone, and I think someone called to brag. I do. Jay in Iowa. Jay. Did you call to brag because you can get married this afternoon? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm already married. Oh, all right. Okay. I wanted to tell you, Derek. Yes. My wife and I sleep with you every night. Oh, that's and, well. The, now the, you could marry Derek. <laughs> you know what? Nothing um, fills my heart more than hearing that people fall asleep during my show. That's, <laughs> <laughs> Frank, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I know. Please, people. I'm the snooze alarm of of the. They're just for slag for pe- what slackers? Slaggers. Slackers. Yeah. That's what it is. Jay, I have to figure out what the right word is, but I'll tell you later. Congratulations okay. on uh, go run out and kiss a fag today, okay? Do it. I, I should do that. Uh, congratulations to you all. I think I think that's fantastic, and, and I hope more states do the same. I think they need to get with it. We are going to, okay, now, no offense, but we are going to say, if freaking Iowa can do it, what's with you, New York? You know, we're going to we're gonna use it, okay? So, anyway, but, but we mean it with tremendous respect. We do. We do. Thanks, Jay. We do. Thank you, Jay. Actually, you know, Iowa is um, a, a politically a very um, stable, solid state. You know, they have a whole thing where their uh, districts are almost perfectly square. They don't have any gerrymandering at all. It's, they don't care who's on what side of where, and they don't try to make um, safe districts. They do it based purely on population and as close to a square as humanly possible. No, yeah. I had no idea. They do. It's the. Oh, it's. I think the only state in the nation that actually does that. Cool. And everybody else makes these crazy districts. You know, in, here in New York State, um, uh, Kristen Gillibrand, who's uh, the new senator replacing Hillary Clinton, who's now, she's been shuttled off to deal with foreign wars. But um, her district is like this crazy thing that runs through six counties up along the Hudson River. It's crazy. And the two guys who were running for the seat, one of them didn't even live in the district. It's like, how is that possible? It's, it encompasses six counties, and the guy doesn't even live there. So, um, yeah, that's craziness. I think the way that Iowa does it is the way everybody should do it. It's I'm, more fair. It's Iowa more, is just a more fair state. It is. Well, it is today. And we're it is a more fair state again today. I know. You, uh, 80% of what you said to me sounded like, yung, yung, ninky, pong, I know, yung, I know, I know. I'm I didn't know sorry. what you were saying. So I got confused. Now, let's go back. You won the GLAAD Award for the, we did the show. We did on Saturday. Won the Glad Award on and, Saturday. Oh, well, you'll like this, Frank. Uh, you can watch Romaine and I on the red carpet on accesshollywood.com. You I love Click on the it. video section. There's video of us on the red carpet there. I, I have to say, the closest thing to the biggest thrill of my life is me being interviewed on a red carpet somewhere. It's fu- now, what did you wear and what did Romaine wear? I wear uh, I wore a suit with a nice little tie that I got at the Barney's warehouse sale. Good. Who was the suit by? Should we ask? Uh, it, was a, it was a it was a Barney suit. Barney suit. Okay, good. Yeah, it was a nice suit. Good, good, good. We well, are handsome, thin fellows. So oh, it's I perfect. Think. And Romaine wore some kind of thing with her tits out, some kind of like tuxedo thing, and then she was. It wasn't the t-shirt with the painted on tuxedo. Was no, it? but All she right, was gonna good. wear like a. Like a top, like underneath it, and I was like, "Can't you just get a nice camisole or something? Do you have to wear like a like a blouse?" So she did sort of put her tits out there, kind of it, a bustier kind of she, effect, kind of a scoop necky kind of a thing. I think it was still like a tank top because she's a lesbian, but, but I, were... I begged her to wear a camisole, <laughs> and then uh, she wore sneakers. She wore black sneakers because she didn't want her feet to be uncomfortable. And that was, I know. Did I, you hear the eyes roll there? I just went like, oh, oh brother. Yeah. The Meanwhile, a drag loudest. queen can walk from, you know, Central Park to the village for the parade in, sp- yeah. in spike heels that are 10 inches, right? So, yeah. Anyway. Fine, Romaine. It's fine. No, but I'm sure she looks cute. So well, was, except uh, that the, a photographer got high up on the platform and took a picture of her shoes. I saw the camera go down. Like, because you see, if you get your picture taken enough, which we always are like, what a camera? I couldn't, uh, this way. Yeah. And so then, <laughs> I, oh, I you, know, blink, blink, yeah, blink. you know yeah. where the camera's aiming. And I saw that photographer go up there and he went to take the picture of us and he turned the camera down. And it was just a picture of Romaine's shoes. And I'm sure it will be in What Not to Wear in one of the tabloids <laughs> very, very soon. <laughs>
<laughs> I've been laughing ever since they did Who Wore It Better, Miss Piggy or yes. Jenna on 30 Rock. I've been laughing. When since. we had Judah Friedlander from 30 Rock on, who I plays Frank, him. and uh, I, I brought that up, and he didn't know that that was a real thing in tabloids. He thought that was something that Tina Fey made up. <laughs> like, no, they really have that. Although that photo of Miss Piggy and Jenna in the same pose and the same dress, too much. And Miss Piggy, 82%. <laughs> that was for me. That was a punchline. <laughs> hey, let's go to the phones. Lisa in LA, you're on the Frank Show. Good morning, Frank and Derek. Hey, Frank, when are you coming back out here to work at the Improv? Me, wait, me or Derek? Me? Oh, me. I'm, uh, I don't do stand up, Frank. Okay. <laughs> Lisa, I'm I'm itching to come back. They just have to. I should call them and say I, I could come. You know. Uh, yeah, we're, we're missing you, but please bring Derek when you come. That would be the epitome of the best of uh, everything. Isn't that a lot of gay all in one spot? You think or, or not? Uh, we need you. We okay, need we'll you. Do, we'll go, Derek. Let's go. I I will sit in the front row. And cackle at Frank's jokes, and that'll be the best part. You have to, you have to go. Okay. I, I heard that one before, <laughs> about six years ago. You know, scream. I'm Bye going to the, these I, thanks, yeah. I'm going to the bathroom. Don't just say anything funny while I'm gone. No chance. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> six, five and a half years of doing this. Five minutes of funny over the years. Anyway, Liz in San Diego, you're on with the lovely Derek Hartley. Go ahead. Hi, everybody. Good morning. So, um, my, I, I wanted to watch 30 Rock, but my husband was like, no. And I said, well, Derek says it's awesome. And so we started watching it, and he loves the show so much. So now I want to watch Battlestar Galactica on Netflix because I didn't watch it in the beginning. That's good and plan. my husband said, ask Derek if the season finale or the series finale was awful. We're not watching it, but you can ask Derek. And I think that's really funny because he doesn't listen to your show, but I do. Uh, well, it's I'm glad you brought that up. It's actually it's weird. We had a um, I had a woman who uh, came up to us at a pride event uh, like two years ago and said that um, her her girlfriend listened to the show. And for the first six months she was listening to the show, she thought Derek and Romaine were two people at her office. Like she didn't know she was listening to a radio show. She did every day. She'd come home from work. She'd be like, "Derek and Romaine said the craziest thing today." And then she went to like an office Christmas party, and she's like, "Are Derek and Romaine here somewhere?" And she's like, "No, they're on the radio." She had no idea. So anyway, at least her husband is aware that it's a radio show and not people at the office. But uh, the finale for Battlestar Galactica was one of the best series finales I've ever seen, and you should definitely uh, pop it on Netflix. And it'll be it'll be great to watch on your own timetable all the way through. I I enjoyed it. I got Romaine to watch it, and you know Romaine and I don't agree on a lot on TV. Like she won't watch Thirty Rock, but on this one we were in full agreement. It's uh, Battlestar Galactica, a terrific series, not a sci-fi series really at all, an anti-sci-fi series you know, set in space. The way you just said that, it reminded. What if we did Battlestar Galactica? <laughs> And you find out Doria is a Cylon. Okay. Doria is a Cylon. I think she may. A Quaker in fact, Cylon. I think Battlestar Galactica is you, just the way you said battle. It had an I in it a little bit, and it really made me the Battlestar Galactica. Liz, take care. Thank you for your call and for, and for loving that Derek is filling in for Doria and during the. Do you like doing doing the day thing like this? Oh my God, Frank. Can I just please tell don't you, ask for my slot? That's you my, have I mean, the best that. time slot. I know. And it, and and it it's was perfect. by accident. Yeah, I know. Who knew? Do you want to switch? Yes. Okay. It was. <laughs> it was. It was like. Do you want to? Oh, that's like someone saying. Do you, how do you want these bag? This sixteen bagels or this sixteen? But you know, it was just like. Oh, yes is the answer. I'll take them. Thank you. Yeah. You know? And uh, by the way, Frank went from the table closest to the kitchen. Okay. To oh, we the were prom- bathroom. Bathroom adjacent, yeah. yes. Oof, not on. We yeah. were the 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. slot when we started. Uh, oh, I was miserable. I was I'm the sure. shittiest year. Oh, it was terrible. <laughs> that was, the show wasn't so shitty, but it was so late. And it, you couldn't go to anything. And I remember having a climb out. I've told this story a million times, but I had a climb out of the aisle. And it, we were at a screening of, of that Peter Sellers HBO movie, and the yeah. biopic. And Jeffrey Rush was across the aisle, and he had to watch me leave in the middle of it. And I thought, you're pl- you're up there. And, you know, it was, oh, I was so embarrassed. Oh, it was terrible. That is awful. And it's just like, I got to get a new gig, you know. And then they were like, how would you like, to- how about 11 to 2 every day? And you I was like, sleep daytime? in a little. Like, you can go to screenings at night. A smidge. I know. It was early for me when I woke up at 9 a.m. I was not. That's the way I, I know. It's, yeah, but you're, at least you're, you know. But I stay up stupid hours. But we'll talk about that later. Let's do right. some celebrity birthdays today. There's some a few good ones. Today. Okay. All I right. forgot. Chris Disco was so kind. He said, 
who were the celebrity birthdays? Like, shit, I forgot to pull any. I didn't remember. So we're doing. Okay. All right, Washington Irving is two hundred twenty-six today. I think that's a, a fun thing. God, because he looks two fifty. Yes. He should get some work done. <laughs> Amanda Bynes is a mere twenty-three. Leona Lewis is twenty-four. Jenny Garth is thirty-seven. Pickabo Street. First, you go down to Pickabo Street, make a left <laughs> at the Seven Eleven. She's thirty-eight. Pickabo Street is thirty-eight. And take a streetcar named Desire. Thank you. Uh, let's. Eddie Murphy is forty-eight. Oh, someone send him a tranny hooker. David Hyde Pierce is fifty. Send him a tranny hooker. To Alec Baldwin is fifty-one. Send him a tranny hooker. It'll be good. Tony Orlando, send him a man groomer is sixty-five. Marsha Mason, the goodbye girl, is sixty-seven. Today. Oh, <laughs> goodbye to your youth. Yeah, really. Wait. Wayne Newton is saying he's 67. Okay, Wayne Newton and Marsha Mason are not the same age. I'm sorry. No. That's just crazy no. talk. Okay. He's 85. That's There's right. no yeah. way. I think Jane Goodall and several of her monkeys are 75. Uh, let's see. Uh, is she still alive? It doesn't say whether they're alive or dead here. Did, Jane Goodall is still alive. She's not the one who the monkeys ate her hands and her eyelids, right? That's somebody else. That was uh, a, I think that was an animal oh, trainer gosh. at the circus. I feel better. <laughs> Jan Merlin. I don't know who Jan Merlin is, but she's magical. She would have been 84 today if she were. we knew who she was. <laughs> Marlon Brando would have been 85, but he's dead. And Doris Day is 85, and she's not dead. She's fabulous. She and is we fabulous. Think she's, do we think she's an out cute listener? Wink, wink. I pray. Please let her be a rug muncher. Oh, please. But I don't know. They said she liked the willy, too. Maybe she's oh, no, a late, maybe she's a late in life thespian. That's what I'm calling myself. Anyway. All right, Darcy, <laughs> this one's for you. I send you a big honk and kiss from all of us here at the Frank Show. When we return, Derek and I uh, will shoot the shit for about two and a half more hours. Woo-hoo! And then, <laughs> then we'll go for lunch, and that'll be that. Here on the Frank Show on Alcu, Serious Sirius 109 XM 98. Up in the sky, I love the polka pie. Pa, won't you dance with me? POTUS. Politics of the United States. For the people of the United States. Our job is to govern with a. Get ready for a three hour barrage of non stop nonsense. Anybody want to come? It's the Frank DeCaro Show. I'm coming. Featuring Doria Biddle. Yeah. Live from New York and Los Angeles on OutQ. Sirius 109, XM 98. Well, it's wonderful, but it's not Doria and Frank. It's Derek and Frank. Derek Hartley is sitting in for the lovely Doria Biddle. And Doria is off doing what lesbians do this weekend. She is off at the diner. Being, I, do you, have they ever come out with a book, Dinah Girls? I thought that would be kind of, because remember there's a lecture woman in Dinah Girl. I thought that'd be kind of a cute. Wouldn't you pick up a book called Dinah Girls? Oh, for Christ's sake, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Doria, you're back. So, Derek, that was perfect. I was, pra- was, I was practicing in the car. That was excellent. <laughs> I'm so glad that you're here. We always have fun when you and I are together. We have a, a we have a nice time. I, Frank, you, I have said many times to anyone who will listen, which is almost no one, you're one of the joys for me of coming here to Sirius uh, XM, and I love hanging out with you. And you know, we like, never we never have enough time to hang out. I know because we just we ships that pass in the night, oh, and you're busy. You work when you get here. No. <laughs> No, yeah. you do. Well, I don't know when you get here, but when you because I'm in the my my like I I'm trying to because after about when did we get done two o'clock? Yeah, I get back from lunch like two forty. By about three oh one, I'm thinking, how the fuck can I get out of here? Okay, it's, <laughs> it's about three oh one. Why did you just go? I, I do, but I, then I think, oh, it looks bad, so I stay till four between four and five, and then it's like once it's once it's past four, I, it's all fair fair for me to sneak out. I but, sign know. off our show with my coat on and my bag on my shoulder, but that's late and at night, I am then. out. <laughs> Yes, but that's, I can't do I mean, then I would have to come in before the show, you know, and I like to come in about five minutes before the show starts and say, so, Miss Biddle, what are we going to do today? You know, and, and go with it that way. If I didn't have um, the dour look on Romaine's face waiting for me when I came in at 5.30, I would come in right before the show every single well, cause, cause day. Well, you've got the gift to gab. You know, the, you know, like gift of gab, gift of gab, that's what they say. Yeah. You can chat. People can say, like, Here's a topic, disc- you know, <laughs> stone fruits, discuss. Well, you know, and you could go, we could, you would say, you know, I, a, a peach is better than a plum. And you could do that. And I would be, right. stone fruits. Oh, that's like gay people <laughs> who smoke dope, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to come up with some shit. Anyway. All right, let's go to the phones. Okay. Trucker Patty, how are you, darling? Hey. Hey. I can't help myself. I just love the way that sounds. <laughs> you know, Derek, you picked a good, good week for me to blog this week because I do love my Frank and Doria as much as I love my Derek and Romaine. So both shows will be on the blog tonight. But, you know, what I want to... The rest of the people around here, not so much, but it's a... Everybody's like... screwed. <laughs> 
<laughs> what I wanted to say was you were saying earlier that she thought the two of you together might be a little bit too gay. I worry and, about that, yes. Mm. No, I, I don't think so now. If Carson Presley and Christian Siriano were there with you, that might be a little too gay. But oh, my God, my ears are bleeding just thinking about it. <laughs> the two of you together are just absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Oh, st- oh no. Our heads are swelling as, as we speak. Trucker Patty, big honking kiss to you, okay? Uh-huh. You also wanted to give a shout out. Yay, Iowa. I'm so glad about that. In my life, I've been married to one woman and two men. And if I can get married, everybody should be able to get married. <laughs> and if the pace Yay. things are going soon, Patty, you'll be able to marry one woman and two men at the same time. I so. hope. Wouldn't that be good? And one of them could be Bill Pullman. That'd be really, isn't that he, wasn't he the star of Big Love? Who's the star of Big Love? Bill Paxton. Bill Paxton. Yeah. Only if they have lots and lots of money. Okay. One of them could be Chloe Savigny is what I meant. There we go. Right. Oh, I, 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 by the way, Frank, you can send me to Alec Baldwin. All right. I, <laughs> all right. Ha, tell him happy birthday from all of us. Go, Trucker <laughs> Patty. Go. All right. Take, she's going to take care of him. It'll be fun. Give her a ticket to the gun show, as they say. Enrique in Colorado, you're on with the two man studs of the of Sirius Altcube. <laughs> Derek Hardy and Frankie Carroll. Go ahead, you baby. Hello, Frankie, you fat all the airy men. Oh my! Is it, is that, he likes me. What can I say? Does, this, does, does he, he like all the time, Frank? He likes me. He I doesn't talk a, like this I to me. A, I got a really, really big crush on you, Frank. He's a chubby chaser. I love him for that. Isn't that I cute? love you, Frank. Oh stop! Let me put on ten pounds. A, you can chase me too. <laughs> have a good weekend, guys. Bye, sweetie. That's really nice of him to call and make me. Chubby. No, you don't have to gain ten pounds. You have to ba- base it. Here, hold this anvil. Okay, there we go. No, perfect. <laughs> now we weigh the same. Anyway. I thought you were going to say five, but okay. <laughs> I uh, would never say that. That would never happen on our show because Romaine would hang up on him so fast. Yeah, Doria. Well, Doria's not here. That's why he can call and get through. Doria, yeah. Doria gets, you can hear the bile rising in her throat when, you know. It's why do the lesbians get jealous when somebody likes us? I think, well, because they, th- first of all, they think, secretly, they think we're disgusting. Okay, they it's do. It's not a secret from her age. <laughs> She'll tell you flat out. No, Dory is always like, you're hairy and you're just a beast and you're fat and how could anybody like you? She looks, at G- she looks at Jim and she's like, he really likes you. She gets that look on her face like, how could he like you? Wow. You know, which is always, I find that comforting. I do. I like when someone that you whose opinion you value looks at you and your boyfriend and just basically gives him the eye like, run. Run. And the look <laughs> in her eye to Jim usually Escape. I'll Be block free. the way. You can make it. <laughs> yeah, she would. She would throw herself on a live grenade, me, and, you know, and and knock me over and then, uh, you know, give me a dodge, shove a dodgeball in my mouth like an apple and a pig and then let Jim run off. She really, but he likes me. She can't fathom it. She cannot. She can try. Dory can do a lot of things, but she cannot wrap her mind around why Jim would like me. At this point, I think it's pretty clear that Jim knows what he got himself into. Oh, my God. And, you know, what? I used to say it for the first Ten years of the relationship, right? right? I used to say, you know, I after a lot of I had a lot of crazy ones, and now I got the real same. And then it dawned on me at about the ten year mark, he's the craziest of all of them. Right. That's why he's still here. Yeah. It's it's <laughs> who knew the sane ones ran for their lives. It was you know it was the the nut bar that I'm uh, you know betrothed. To. I'm you know, but I want to get married to him. I do. You should. I'm not in Iowa. I want to get married in one of our home states. We have three for God's sake. They could get it together. We think of. L.A. is our home away from home. Right. New Jersey is our home is is our home state, and we're New Yorkers for decades. So it's like so, so we're like, you know, it's a little. It's, so it's got to be one of those three for us. Right. Well, I you know what I can't wait to go. I know you'll be registered at Toys R Us. Thank I'm <laughs> very excited about that. Oh, I want that Goldie Hawn Barbie doll so bad. Oh, when that comes out later this year, there's a Goldie Hawn. From laughing oh. with the the body paint <gasps> Barbie. Oh, that's pretty fabulous. It will be mine. Oh, I thought they were going to do like a current Goldie Hawn Barbie, where she has <laughs> so much hair in her face you can barely see her nose peeking out. And the and it's got a removable face that you keep in the freezer. It's perfect. It's that's where I keep mine. Nice. Let's uh, go to the. <laughs> I just put. I'm telling you, if you gain a lot of weight, it'll push all the wrinkles out from the inside. That's my plan. Okay. I do you see any wrinkles on this face? No, they could. They don't stand a chance. Actually, I I read a thing that said that if you want to look if you want to live a long time and look good keep a little weight on until you turn 40 and then that's when you drop the weight 
Like, if you keep because... Too late for me. Anyway, <laughs> not for you, but to, but too late for me. But you can do it now, me. Frank. It's all right. Oh, God. I'm just made, I was going to embrace health in my 40s. Now it's just looking, you know what? I'll wait till I'm 50 at this point. You it's know, the same thing. If I make it. All right, let's go to the... Let's go to the... Because my father's dying to pull me into the grave with him. Well, that's a whole other topic. 50, whatever. 50... The 50s are just like the 40s, but slightly sadder. Like, Perfect. there's no real difference. My father, okay. Dracula, is dying to pull me into the grave with him, okay? I mean, he would love it, okay? But, and then he would get on top and go, I'm not dead! And he would push me in. I'm telling you, he would be dying for me to get in the he grave. He would trade places with you. Oh, he would love it. Anyway. Steve in Florida, you're on with Derek Hartley and Frank DiCaro and Chris Disco. Go ahead. It's the all-gay Frank show. Hi, Frank. How are you? Good. Derek, I've got a comment for you from your last night's show. Oh, you no. A caller from South Carolina that called in. Joel. Yeah, we had this caller from, uh, from South yeah. Carolina. Let me shorthand it for everybody in 10 seconds or less. Joel from South Carolina has called our advice segment, What's Your Gay Problem, several times because he has been in a, in a covert relationship for 10 years with a married man. And he uh, inadvertently, according to him, became HIV positive along the way, infected the guy he's having the covert relationship with, and apparently the guy has not told his wife that this has transpired. And he wanted us to agree that the two of them now were forced to be together because they were in this unholy alliance. And we kept telling him that, no, you're the other woman. This is wrong. You're the, this man is cheating on his wife. This is a bad situation. And uh, now it's even worse. And that did not make it better. And he is never happy because he just wants us to agree with him, even though all of his friends tell him the exact same thing that we do. No, it's only okay, I think, to... If cheating? He, uh, cheating like that. Yeah. If, if the husband said to the wife, I'm going to go fuck a guy. Yes. You need me to pick up anything on the way home. Okay. Right. And if she says, stop, I've got a craving for Kung Pao chicken, but please don't make it past 930. Right. Then it's fine. If yeah. she's like, I go, I got stuff to do. Yeah. Then it's fine. That's Otherwise, fine. you can't no, sneak around. It's no. bad. My, my comment to that, Derek, you handled everything perfectly. That guy isn't in a relationship. He's just looking to screw somebody, and it'll never happen on anything. In fact, now he's just made everything worse. But I like the way you handled everything, though, last night. Well, good. And, and Frank? Yes, sir. Frank? I love armpits, too. Don't worry about it. <gasps> you dirty oh. bird. Anyway, we were talking about the Steve, thank you for that. Anyway, okay, bye-bye. All right, bye-bye. So Dory is horrified by pit munching. She's horrified by pit munching. It's not my thing, Frank, but knock yourself out. Knock yourself out. Okay, wait. Oh, look at the Chris grin on no. this one. He likes it. Look at that. Look, Chris, go disco. I actually don't. You don't like that? No. Why are you grinning? You're, are you trying no, not to I'm, throw I'm, up? I mean, what is the... It's, <laughs> it's either, I oh, baby, that's hot, or... I don't mean like a dirty pit, but I mean like a clean pit. Is kind of, mm. when it got okay when they have the arms up over their head for a photo. Doesn't that work your skirt? No, no, no. You end up getting hair in your teeth, and it's just you not floss cute. a little. You just you get, <laughs> they look the oral beal taken out. Yeah, it's fine later. Not, Did, so not for you either. You no. don't like an armpit picture? No. We have dirty things to talk about later. Let's take another call. <laughs> no, we do. We have a dirty thing I have to ask fine. you about. Certifiable in Ohio. You're on with Frank Takaro and Derek Hartley. Hi, Frank. Hi, Derek. Hey. Since I have you both on the on, on the same show, yes, uh, Eric, you know that somebody trashed my truck with the DNR and the Frank DeCarol. I know it's an outrage. Yeah. Well, he was parked um, overnight at a, at a truck stop. Somebody uh, re- tried to remove his Derek and Romaine and Frank DeCarol show uh, like promotion on the side of his truck. It's you know outrage. why? Because they wanted it for themselves, and it's hard to get them. <laughs> it's hard to get those stickers and things. It's, it's, it's true. Tough. I'm actually. I I will tell. I were just about out of our DNR stickers, and I'm like down to like the last ten. I slept and in my DNR T-shirt last night. Did you? Yes, because I've in prep for this. That was show prep for me for today. I That's good show prep, Ray. I let me dream a good show. <laughs> what do you do on the show? I don't know. Let me sleep on it. That's what I said. I wore my <laughs> DNR shirt. And and then uh, that was the, really all that I could. So they, I do they, that during hour two. They try, <laughs> they so they try to to, to that's too. Yes, and we to hate that his phone. Uh, they uh, I think they they ditched, they smashed his phone too because he's gone. I think it's because we just kept talking over him and he finally. Does he not up. like that? No, I I don't know. I just you just call waiting. I mean, it's not listen. He doesn't have to listen to what we're saying. He's just to wait till it's stop quiet and then jump <laughs> in there or talk over it. That's what I always do. Yeah. Just jump in. No, but so they they had to. But I'm glad that he he likes us together. Apparently, he thinks we're it's really gay together. Oh, the two of us, the together? Two of us together. It is kind of gay. It is. It's but... kind of Wonder Twin Powers. Right no. there. <laughs>
I'm, except I'm. The, what's the name of the little monkey? Because really, that's who I am in this game. Ever since that, like, uh, yeah, Glee, Glee, let's say whatever. Well, let's remember. say I'm Gleep from from Josie and the okay, Pussycats sure, instead. Right, that's better because I don't know the name of the monkey for the Wonder. Speaking of the Wonder Twins, this is the most scratched mix show ever. But I've right. but this is where my head works. Mine too. So um, the 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 comic one of the Comic Con exclusives in San Diego this summer, Wonder Twin powers uh, Wonder Twins in a box. <gasps> Fabulous with the monkey, with the really little, with the little me, yeah, little little stinky little me there, and it's gonna be fun. That's anyway, gonna be hot. Shit I'm up. not gonna do. I can't do it again where I go to San Diego to buy three toys and then come back. You know, they're like, how much did you spend on those toys? Well, twenty nine dollars. Well, great. Well, how much was the airline ticket? Two hundred eighty five dollars. You know, I, I can't do yeah, that. But it's San Diego. It's, it's lovely some, there. I can't go though. There's what? There's a sailor who likes me there. Oh, that's a problem. Yeah, it's Frank. a problem because Jim will kill me yeah. anyway. Because it really he looked like little Abner. And he wanted me, but it's been a while now. But he he wanted me, and Does so he much. Still want you, Frank? Oh, I hope. Oh, there's so <laughs> much. There's so much more of me to want than when he saw me last. Let's go to the first. Jared in L.A. You're on the Frank Show. Oh, Derek, it's so nice waking up to you in the morning. Did you, <laughs> Jared? Let's try that again. <laughs> we put you on hold accidentally. Hold on, you are a hot tranny mess, Crisco. I'm just. <laughs> you just put our call. I was talking to Jared. You put him on hold. Jared, go ahead. No, I just uh, wanted Derek to know it's so nice waking up to him in the morning. <laughs> no, no one says that to me uh, since I turned 35, because I no look like a gargoyle that. first thing in the oh, morning. Oh, you, oh, <gasps> stop. Frank, you don't even know. Oh, a police. lot of pillow face here. It's not good. It's pretty, I'm pretty. <laughs> now you hung up on Jared. Stop that. Anyway, <laughs> he just hung up. Although he was all, it was all about you, Derek. It really was. So you know wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. It's, I think you, you did good. Phones. No, you did good, because it, it wasn't about me at all. So I'm glad you Frank hung is, up Frank on. is upset that I'm getting so many calls. It's true. There's something anyway. wrong with the phones. All right, it's okay. Let me. I'll answer it. Don't touch anything. Wait a minute. <laughs> Sir, don't t move a muscle. I won't touch Certifiable, money. you're back. Yes, I'm back. Sorry about that. You lo and I love. He said he lost the signal. Yeah, right. We hung up on you, certifiable. All right, now go ahead. Now, what were you, where were you? What I wanted to ask was, um, since the the decals on the truck were destroyed, I wanted to find out, Derek, what color did you want the DNR sticker done in? And what color did you want your your show promoted in, Frank? Well, I think black is slimming for me, so I'll go with that. I'll say just plain black, maybe with a with a little <laughs> with, a, with a leopard print accent. <laughs> no, uh -oh. I, I don't know. Let's say let's say black. I think black is. Black. And you know we love blue, so black and blue is appropriate Perfect. since your truck was beaten up. And, and since we hung up on you, it's fine. You yeah. should smack us all around. I think certifiable, certifiable. Anyway, but thanks for for really oh, for oh, liking oh. our show. Yes, sir. What? What? Frank. I also wanted to say the reason I called in that this is the gayest show ever. It's got sequins and rhinestones falling out of my speakers because of you two being on the radio at the same time. It really is gayer than a picnic basket today on the Frank Show with Derek Hartley here. It's going to be fun. Well, certifiable. Big honk and love to you. Thank you hung up on him again. All right, anyway, Robert, you know you didn't. It was his problem. Robert in Nashville, done. you're on the Frank Show. Yeah, certifiable's problem is not the only problem. Ever since that you guys went over to XM, and I'm not trying to trash the XM listeners. Here it comes. People have been fucking with the goddamn DNR stickers on all the trucks. They're not taking them, they're defacing them. And it's bullshit. Well, in some way... You're, see, you know, this is the first step to true popularity. I hate to say it. You know? Being defaced? Being defaced is really... Being true. defaced, it just means that we're just getting under their skin now that Iowa's in there, right? I know. Uh, well, that was, I think we would get in their skin even, <laughs> under their skin even without Iowa. But, but on I that think, note, yes. you guys are always wonderful when you're together. And, Derek, you do need salsa disco at your Cinco de Mayo party. Salsa disco? I don't know. I don't, salsa disco. I think, if I'm not mistaken, salsa disco is is a Mexican drag queen. I think is really oh, that's who right. she is. Anyway, Miss, Sa ladies and gentlemen, Miss Salsa Disco. Let's go to the fun. David in Toronto, you're on the Frank Show. Hi, Frank. This is David, the gay trucker. Yay, David. And I listen to both of your shows. I love it, except for the morning show. I hate it. I'm in the car <laughs> right now, riding. Stop Shana. that! Terrible. Oh, I hate Larry. Stop Ford. it! Uh, Stop it! Um, and I'm a bear. I'm going to a bear. <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? He won't quit. He's going to get the last word in it. Yeah. Go ahead, David. I, I, I'm going to a, a bear event in Fort Erie, Pennsylvania. It's called Drenched, where um, it's going to be like 300 bears at a water park. It's great. But I'm riding shotgun. It's going to be a lot of wet hair. The guy that you uh, won best ass contest in Buffalo. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Here he is. 
Hi, Frank. How are you doing? How's your ass? Good. Good, how are you? Good. He did. He had an adorable chunky. That's bum. And apparently he just slept with this guy and woke up with him this did morning wake, in his truck. Did you wake up with David this morning? No, no. We, we're uh, friends from way back. Oh, all right. So anyway, he picked yes. him up in a drive-thru. I right, know. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. He's friends said, from way back. He said, could I have the McMuffin? And he just jumped in. Right. That was really yeah. what it was. They're friends from all the way back. <laughs> Big Mac on the way down, so I grabbed them. Oh, well, well, yeah, so have some down. fun at Drench. Drench. Now, is it's, it's, it's this weekend or something? Yeah, it starts tonight, Drenched Fur in uh, oh. Erie, Pennsylvania. Because I know I've, I've heard about Drenched Fur. They thought, and it's <laughs> some day, no, I did. They they actually, they called me and were like, do you ever want to come to this? And I said, but I, I hadn't, I didn't respond because uh, I just am not organized, not because I didn't want to come. But yeah. and, but anyway, but have fun. Play, obviously, play safe. Yo, you know what oh. I have to say? It did say it's a family water park. I remember this. I looked on the website. Family water park, so no <laughs> bathhouse behavior, quote unquote, oh, no, will be no, tolerated. No, they close it down. It's from 10 p.m. to like 2 a.m. So. Right, but they say you still can't do naughty stuff, it said on there. Or do they just oh, say that and then you do it yeah, anyway? They just say that just to look good. All right, you know what? Get, get on the tilt of world and fist somebody, okay? That's really a fun... <laughs> They don't have that at a water park. Never That's mind. That's an All advanced right. move, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> but the families love fisting. David, take care of yourself. Okay. But yeah. I know, okay, take care. And, and Ken, right? Yes, this is Ken. Ken and Dave. All right, both of you behave yourselves. Have a, well, don't behave yourself, but put a rubber on it. All right, take care okay. of yourself. Okay. Bye. Bye. That's sweet. Sammy in San Diego, quick look at Bunny Rabbit. Frank, you got to come to San Diego. I'll take you to every Target, and we'll go eat everywhere. Okay. Can we go to the Bear Restaurant, the American, Brian's American Eatery? Oh, cool. oh, the best, the best. Oh, my God. Can I get the Frankie oh. burger with the peanut butter and the bacon and the cheese yes. on it? Yes. And the defibrillator? Let's go. Let's go. I'll keep all the other crazies besides myself away from you. Oh. You guys have a good one. Sammy, take care of yourself. Oh, it's really sp I think we'll have to go with Sammy. I think that's not, I thought it's, when it says, Frank, come to SD, I thought South Dakota. And it's like, well, they don't, I don't get much call in South Dakota. When we return to the Frank Show, Derek Hartley and I will continue shooting the shit here. Yes. Coming up later on in our show, uh, the, uh, the other stuff. Here on OutQ, Sirius 109 XM 98. Romaine, I just need a break. Doria, for Christ's sake, Frank. Well, as you can see, Doria and Romaine need to get away from it all. So they're going to the Club Skirts Dinah Shore Weekend. Romaine, we'll be in the desert, surrounded by thousands of drunk, half-naked women. DNR never sounded like this. Catch DNR, that's Doria and Romaine, live from the Riviera Hotel in Palm Springs at the Club Skirts Dinah Shore Weekend, Friday, 6 p.m. East, 3 West, on LQ, Sirius 109, XM 98. Good news for uninsured Americans. Now, get ready for a three hour barrage of nonstop nonsense. Boy, was that stiff. It's the Frank DeCaro Show featuring Doria Biddle. I masturbate a lot. Live from New York and Los Angeles. I'm coming. On OutQ, Sirius 109, XM 98. Oh, enough of that. It's Frank and Derek. And Der Derek is the new Doria. <laughs> oh, Frank. <laughs> Oh, for Christ's sake, Derek. I'll be the new Romaine. <laughs> oh, for Christ's sake, Derek. No, she doesn't sound like that at all. I don't do a Romaine, you know. Poop. Poop in the shower. Poop. Anyway, I know she says that. Poop. So. If you if you really want to be Romaine, just ignore whatever I'm saying and say something else. Just like you're not paying any attention to what's happening and just Speaking have your own Speaking of killer dialogue. clowns, that's what we, that's what, because <laughs> yes, somebody, because CR called in one day and we were talking, you know, like, and then Maria Von Trapp said, you know, dot, dot, dot. He said, yeah. speaking of killer clowns, and the Doria and I, you could hear the neck <laughs> swivel, okay, 3,000 miles apart. We're like, what the fuck is he talking about now? You know, because that was, even for us, that was a little bit non sequitur. We're just like, okay, then. I do, I, but you know, he called, the fact that he gets reception in his crawl space, I do there. I was amazed. That's a miracle. <laughs> That's naughty. Claw, anyway, claws way out. Tim and Florida are on the Frank Show. Well, I'd, first off, I'd like to say thank you for making the last day of my vacation so much fun. And my first response was, I think we need to start a write-in campaign for the poor boy that has to clean out the drain. To get the raise for the poor boy who has to clean out the drain at that water park with all the hair. Yeah, drenched the bear uh, event. Well, yeah, no, I, I agree. There's going to be a lot of clogged drains. Oh, so clogged is the event on Monday. That's what they have. No, because they do. They do drenched is Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Monday's clogged. That's I what they. Was the enema event? <laughs> oh, oh. oh. They, they don't like to. Uh, they say and they say and 
and no uh, bathhouse behavior will be tolerated at that one either. <laughs> last night, because it's a family enema park. Okay. Last, last night on the show, Eric Rhodes was talking about his Falcon movie Fleet Week, and he goes, "And by the way, it's not about douching." <laughs> oh, and by the way. Yeah. With Eric Rhodes, Derek, he needs to be your constant fill-in. I have more fun with the two of you on that show. I'm sorry, Eric Rhodes is not only a fill-in; he's a fill-it in and stretch it out. Okay. Oh, you can fill me in. It's oh my yeah. God! Stop that, Tim. Oh. His arms are so big now, and he's. Uh, there was a guy he fisted up to his shoulder, and I have to tell you, his. You know how when you go to the supermarket and, or like the butcher, and they have like the sl- like the like the. Like side a, of beef. Side right? of beef. Yeah. That's what his arm looks like now. The hanging there is just this giant slab of meat. And I just thought that went in someone's ass. The whole the whole night last night, I was staring at his arm just thinking, oh, my God, your bicep, that giant, giant bicep went in someone's ass. I do, the look on your face is one of romantic delight, Derek Carter. I look at you. horrified. No, you're not, that's not a be... horrified face. Maybe your mouth is horrified, but the, the, your eyes are saying, ooh. No, that's uh, a look on my face right now. Yeah, no. Yeah. When, oh, when power bottom, Tim. That's you know, it. When he started talking about uh, fisting a guy all the way up to his shoulder and then feeling around to see what organs he could identify while well, he was every, in there. Every time he would, would, would go, it's time to pop another pill. Oh, yeah. There was, a no, lot of, there was a lot of Vicodin last night on the show. There I hope is you don't not, mind. Well, I hope the guy who was getting felt up from the inside was taking the Vicodin, too. It's like, Jesus. Up to, oh, no. It's, it was a skinny girl, I'll bet, who was or a fellow, a skinny fellow, okay, who who was taking, because a fat one would be like, get your, stop that. I've got to eat a roast. You know, it'd be, it'd, His anyway. His arm looked like a roast. Tim, it did. Bye, Tim. Thanks for your bye, call. Bye, thank you, boys. All right, take care. Enjoy that last vacation. Oh, my God. Does he have to go back to work tomorrow? You know? I don't know. That would be stinky. Anyway, I hope he enjoys his vacation, because the, Tomorrow counts as a day off for us, thank heaven. Logan in Pittsburgh. What's up, boys? Hey. Hey, how's it going? Derek, I had a question for you. Um, <laughs> I really appreciate you guys Sorry, doing that um, download no, enjoy. On, on, the, uh, on the website. I was just curious if it was still up there. I wanted to tell some friends to do on download it. Are you talking about the Laramie Project special? Yes. Yeah, it is still, as far as I know, let me go and take a look. But it should be up there. Okay. I, they didn't say anything about taking it down. But, yes, the Laramie Project special that our show won a GLAAD award for is available as a free download right now at SiriusOutQ.com. So if people didn't get a chance to hear it or they want to share it with their friends, you can download yeah. it, save it forever, have it, it's yours. And there's a little link right there if you want to make a, a voluntary donation to the Matthew Shepard Foundation, which would be lovely. Yeah, definitely. I really encourage everybody to go online and download it. It's really a great special, and definitely uh, go onto that website and make a donation. Also, I had a uh, an opening for you guys for your show. Today. I beg your pardon. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Oh, yes. Frank. Okay. Sorry. Ready, here it comes. <laughs> the Frank and Derek Show. Your radio never sounded so gay. On out to Sirius 109 XM 98. Wouldn't you marry him right now just with that voice? It doesn't matter. Just Logan like, has a lovely voice. He has voice. a lo- Logan fa- and a nice name. He does. Thank you. If only uh, Crisco Disco knew how to spell Pittsburgh. I'm going to sit and write Mrs. Logan Pittsburgh now. For, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sit here all day. <laughs> On Mrs. your peachy? <laughs> Mrs. Logan Pittsburgh. That's what I'm going to do. There you go. Logan, take You know I'm coming to Pittsburgh. Oops, I shouldn't yeah, say. I was right. gonna... Shh, shh. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was going to say. Right. Pretend not, but I... But... On the DL. DL On the right DL. Now, yes, but it looks like I will be in, in the Burg of the Pit. Anyway, that's ever since awesome. of my... All right, take care. I do. I stop it. All right, Logan, take care of yourself. Bye. Have a good day, guys. All right, I think I'm gonna go there for pride. I think. I have, think. Have they asked you? You're just no. They show did. Up no, I'm not just gonna show up. No, they did. But we're just <laughs> we're working it out. Oh, so working anyway, the details. So okay, all right. it will all it will be fun. I think, but I, I'm I'm kind of hoping that that's it works out because I had such a good time last time. Audie in Texas. Yes. Hi, hi. Frank, I have a question for you since you're sitting next to uh, Derek. Well, we're are about 12 eyes... feet apart, but yes, go ahead. Are his eyes as beautiful as they look on his in his pictures? Let me look. The third, the two in the front are good. The one in the back is a little bloodshot. Okay, it's really, but the two in the front, very cute. Yes. And anyway, would you, uh, Aud- would you like? Do you uh, uh, do you want me to get a number for you or something? Absolutely. I'll put in a good word for you. Anyway, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'll he, see what I can right. do. Here's here's my number. If you got a pen, <laughs> it's eight six six three zero five six eight eight seven. Nuts. All righty then. Okay, thank you. you. Thanks, right, no, wait, thank nuts. You. Did he forget to write it down? Oh, that's what it spells out. Never mind. I okay. thought he meant he, he transposed a number or something. No. Which we should talk about when we return. I have a. St- I'm going to find the story. We'll laugh. Okay. okay. When we return, we'll ask more fun here on the Frank Show with Derek Hartley sitting in for the bitter Doria Biddle. <laughs> Look outside. Spring is finally here. <laughs> and oh yeah. 
Get ready for a three-hour barrage of non-stop nonsense. Anybody want to come? It's the Frank DeCaro Show. I'm coming. Featuring Doria Biddle. <sighs> Live from New York and Los Angeles on OutQ. Sirius 109 XM 98. <laughs> Yes, it's Frank DeCaro live in New York City. Doria Biddle is at the diner. She is our woman at the diner. Uh, and, our and women. Our women are at the diner. Yes, it's true. Our little women. Oh, Romaine, you is my woman now. Yes, anyway, Romaine and Doria are, are at the diner this and weekend. And Greg. And Mr. Greg from the House of Greg Beauty Salon. Filling in is Crisco Disco. Pushing our buttons and and uh, t- and twisting our knobs as mm. he's wont to do oh, here yes. on out and uh, and so Derek Hartley is filling in for Miss Biddle. Give us a, an oh for Christ's sake, Frank. Oh for Christ's sake, Frank. Oh that was oh that was just heaven. So we were you <laughs> mentioned before when we asked when that man called up for your number. Yes. Okay, and you said it's eight six six three zero five six eight eight seven. He said. Eight six six three zero five nuts. It is nuts, and yes. I thought he transposed a number, but it's nuts is what it comes out to. Right? It does. Well, it comes out to OutQ, but one of the listeners discovered it also comes out to nuts. So that's what we say on our show is that it's eight six six three zero five nuts. Everybody right. else says OutQ. I was look, so I like that anyway. But it's, see, because I I'm, I have this on the brain about the transposing number. Um, there was a call. Journalists were dialing in for a White House conference call yesterday. Right. Okay. And they wanted to get for this, they were hoping that they would get Hillary Clinton and Jim Jones, who is apparently the, which I didn't know, this is the National Security Advisor. He is the National Security Advisor. As opposed to the man with the Kool Aid in in Guyana, right? Is it different, Jim Jones? I didn't know. He's a decorated uh, Marine. He's a decorated uh, veteran. Oh, he's a decorated Marine. I thought he was a decorated veteran. And he's very tall, by the way. Handsome. Okay. Anyway, so they thought they were going to get them, but instead they got a phone sex line. Yeah. That's appropriate. Isn't that good? Anyway, they said an aide mistyped the 800 dial-in number. And so when they called, they got, do you have any hidden desires? If you feel like getting nasty, then you came to the right place. <laughs> okay. Well, Instead it's the of, State Department, isn't it? No, it was actually. <laughs> and what people don't know is it was, in fact, Hillary Clinton. Yeah. That's, it really was her. So anyway, she said, uh, uh, then you came to the right Feel like getting nasty? Nobody yeah. gets nasty for under a minute than uh, Hitler in under a minute than Hillary Clinton. <laughs> That's true. So anyway, but uh, they said that uh, it was it, it was uh, an old problem. They said some homeowners seeking mortgage relief from a Bush administration hotline in 2007 instead at the time got a Texas-based group that provides Christian education. So that's, I'm sorry. See, that's why I like the new president better. Okay. If you misdial <laughs> Bush, you get Christian education. Right. You misdial Obama or Hillary Clinton, right, or, or the Kool Aid fella here. Okay, you get. Do you have any hidden desires? If you feel like getting nasty, then you came to the right place. Mm. America! Yay! Yay! Okay. Not yeah. paying your taxes? <laughs> Here's a job for you. Do you have any hidden desires? Yeah, for a bailout of my boyfriend. That's what I like. Okay. I, l- I love that Pay idea his too. Bills. That's what I'd like. Okay. <laughs> Bail out. Anyway. Well, so. they, did, they had that same problem on American Idol, though. Because this year they had an extra idol, but that, whatever, 866 uh, idols, oh, whatever. But then when they got to idols of 13, that was actually a sex line. Like, cool. Yeah. So then they it had to. It was a Clay Aiken sex line. Actually. No. Then they had yeah. to give that person a different, like, idols number at the end that was sort of out of <laughs> sequence. And they didn't want to explain to their 40 million viewers, oh, by the way, don't dial 13 because that is a sex line, which, of course, would cause everyone to call. To call everyone. 13 would win. Yeah. Because you want to call the sex line. You want to get the Hillary Clinton sex line. <laughs> Do you have any hidden desires? I'm Hillary Clinton. If you feel like getting nasty, then you came to the right place. Do you like pantsuits? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! How's the daughter looking? I haven't seen a picture lately. I was wondering about because Chelsea. You mean my baby? No, Chelsea Clinton. Oh, uh, Chelsea actually looks very hot now. Good, I'm glad. Yeah, she's I'm a glad. she's a good looking, lovely young lady. I'm glad to hear that because I went there. She had an awkward moment, you know. Never as awkward as like uh, we don't remember uh, 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 Billy. Uh, wait, what was what was his Amy name? Carter? Amy Carter. You don't remember her too much, right? Uh, it was really awkward when you thought it was Billy Carter. Billy it Carter. Was Amy. That's but, tough. I'm confused. When we, ret- the brother. when we return to the fiction, next hour, Lisa Arcella is going to join us, and we'll chat with her. I think, although I don't know if I have her number, we, we don't know what we're going to do. It'll be fun, but Derek and I will shoot the shit for another two hours, and then we'll be done. And Bob Saget will show up and go, too much gay, and run. So anyway, <laughs> all that. The news is next here on Acu Series 109 XM 98. Real me, who's gonna hold me tight? I'm right around the corner in the phone. Celebrating five years as America's only radio station for the LGBT community. This is OutQ, Sirius 109 XM 98.
from the OutQ Newsroom, I'm Tim Curran with these gay community headlines. Same-sex couples in Iowa will be able to get married in three weeks. The Iowa Supreme Court ruled this morning that the state must allow gay couples to marry. Catherine Varnum was one of the plaintiffs who sued to overturn the state's ban on same-sex marriage. Today I am proud to be a lifelong Iowan. This is a great day for Iowa. We are blessed by our family and our friends, and we are blessed to live in Iowa. Tim McQuillan and his husband Sean were the only Iowa couple to get married following a lower court judge's ruling in 2007 and spoke today after the Iowa Supreme Court's decision. I'm just so happy that you all finally get what Sean and I have had a sense of for the last year and a half. And I don't see anything else. Welcome to married life. (laughs) (laughs) Iowa will become the first state in the Midwest to allow same-sex couples to marry. The Iowa Supreme Court upheld a lower court judge's decision that found the state's ban on same-sex marriage to be unconstitutional. Six same-sex couples sued in 2005 after being denied marriage licenses in Des Moines. A state bill that would force the San Francisco Unified School District to keep the Junior Reserve Officers Training Corps program in place is a step closer to becoming reality. The San Francisco School Board decided to eliminate the program in 2006 because of opposition to military recruitment and the military's don't ask, don't tell policy banning gay people. The San Francisco Chronicle says the measure has now cleared the Assembly Education Committee. It still has to go to the Appropriations Committee and the State Senate. You're listening to OutQ News. The formation of a new centrist group of Senate Democrats is creating a stir among gay rights advocates. OutQ's Amanda Magnus has the story. The 16-member moderate Democratic working group, including Mary Landrieu of Louisiana, Jean Shaheen of New Hampshire, and Mark Warner of Virginia, emerged last month. Delaware Senator Tom Carper and Arkansas Senator Blanche Lincoln wrote an op-ed piece for the Washington Post last week laying out the purpose of the new group. The senators said they would encourage policy debate and work with reasonable Republicans to find common ground on White House-backed legislation. Openly gay City University of New York government professor Dan Pinello tells the Washington Blade he doesn't think the new group is a good sign for LGBT rights. He says the group may splinter the Democratic majority. Pinello says he thinks the group could benefit gay rights if it included centrist Republicans, but that it won't achieve anything without them. Human Rights Campaign Legislative Director Allison Hurwitz says she doesn't think the group necessarily changes anything for us. She says the HRC has always worked with moderates. The National Gay and Lesbian Task Force Federal Legislative Director says she doesn't think the group's role is clear yet. Becky Dansky says members of the new group have supported pro-LGBT legislation in the past and that she hopes they would continue to do so. A spokesperson says that each group member will vote their conscience when pro-LGBT legislation comes before the Senate. Amanda Magnus, OutQ News. A county judge in Plano, Texas, was the target of a gay-baiting web-based attack on his name. Someone bought all the web domains using the name of Judge Keith Self, including a number of variations on his name and position. Even though it was discovered on April Fool's Day, the judge says he's not amused, stating, this is serious business. All of the domains linked to gay.com. When the judge sent an email to the listed contact, they replied with an extortion demand. The FBI is now investigating. I'm Tim Curran, OutQ News. If you're a man or a woman who...